Now, police say that a huge, rotting fish stock building is becoming an increasingly popular and increasingly dangerous playground for children from Hull and East Yorkshire who want to take selfies and videos. Humberside police have escorted 18 teenagers off the site at the former St Andrews Dock in the last two months and have had to start patrols. There are no fences to stop children entering the asbestos-riddled building, despite the council warning the owners to increase security. Jill Archbold is in Hull there at the moment. Uh, what have the police said? Well, they say that although civil trespass is not a policing issue, that their officers are here patrolling this site every day when they can because of those safety concerns. They also tell me that when they're speaking to young people, they're finding that they're not just from Hull, but these are groups of friends who are meeting in other parts of the East Riding and travelling to this building. Now, head teachers in Hull have also been sent letters by the police urging them to pass on this message about the dangers to both pupils and their parents. Risking their lives to capture their trespass on camera, three young boys explore the derelict Lord Line building. You see a number of them on the top of the actual building itself. Officers in Hull say they're concerned that children see entering this building and taking photos as a game. When they're spoken to and they're caught by the police, they just think that they're just playing and they're innocent. They don't really understand the dangers that they're placing them in. But the officers will contact the parents of the children to discuss what's going on. On some occasions, they'll get the parents to come and pick them up so they can see the site and see the dangers. Just minutes after this interview was recorded, three young girls ran towards the building, quickly finding a way inside. Hull mum Melanie Shaw says she tried to stop her son from going near it. I've told my son it's a dangerous place and he's still gone in there with his mates. It's, it's the teenagers, if there's nothing for them to do, if the mates are doing it, they're all going to go in there. It's an attraction. Oh, they've all heard about it now. Let's go see what it's about. Let's see if we can get in there. Let's see if we can get to the top. If it, like I say, if it was shut off, they wouldn't be able to gain, to gain access to it. A survey carried out last month found evidence of asbestos throughout the building, including on its roof and in floor tiles. The building's owner, Manor Properties, says it's structurally unsound and that demolition is the only feasible option. But the prospect of demolition is heartbreaking to Natalie Taylor, who started a petition to see it saved. There's no disputing that it's not safe. There's no disputing it's ugly for want of a better word. I'm not here to say save the Lord line and leave it as it is. No, I'm here to say let's save the building, let's regenerate, you know, let's make it look something to be proud of. This group arrived at the old dock with dust masks but were asked to leave by police officers. Please don't come on the site. You will put yourself in danger and at risk of, you know, serious injury or death. And at the same time, if my officers have to come and pick pick you up or, or, or come to try and save you, they're going to put their lives in danger. Manor Property says it's spent hundreds of thousands of pounds securing this site, but officers are now patrolling it every day to try and stop young people risking their lives for the sake of a selfie. Well, very strong words, Peter, from Hull City Council this evening. They sent us this statement within the last hour and it says the responsibility for this situation sits squarely on the shoulders of the current owner of the Lord Line building. That's the Man and Property Group. And they add they consistently fail in their duty to make this site safe and secure and is putting lives at risk. They go on to say it's very clear that tr preventing trespass and injury is not their priority. Well, the council will now consider that planning application to demolish the building behind me. We don't know a specific date yet, but it's expected to be in the coming months. Peter. Jill, thanks very much indeed. Light views on this one. Uh, you've heard the statement there from the uh, council. Do uh, parents have a duty to keep their children away from the building or do you think fences and security should be uh, put in? Here's how to uh, get in touch. You've heard the uh, fingers uh, being uh, pointed there at the owners. Should the building be uh, demolished? The email address, the text number 81333, start the text of the word look north or follow me on Twitter, Peter underscore Levy tweet now on the Lord Line building. Look forward to hearing from you. Just reading the uh, response on the subject of the Lord Line building. Dave says, uh, put security fences up and charge the building owner for them. And Janice says, I have seen this building all my life, but if it's unsafe, pull it down. Just remember to take plenty of pictures beforehand. Just briefly, Kath says, uh, 
there. No point warning children if they if they want to go in and take a selfie, then they will. Wouldn't mind knowing where it started off. This so-called height selfie, I've never heard of it, needs nipping in the bud. Keith says, pull it down and redevelop the eyesore. That'll stop them. And finally, uh, Steve says the city council should make a compulsory purchase and redevelop the area and make it into an attraction.